Hi, this is David Haslett, and this video is about making slopes in two-point perspective. Okay, so here is our setup. This is an example that has a few archways that I did for my students, and here's a pyramid with its top cut off, and a tower, another pyramid on top, and here's an archway on its side just to show that curvature. But what I'm really interested in this video, again, is showing slopes. So here's how we can go about it. Notice I've got two points. This is regular two-point perspective, except I want to add this other dimension. What I'm planning on doing is having a slope coming off of this road right over here. So I'm going to add another point, a third point, somewhere on this horizon. I'm just going to choose right over here. I'll make an arrow just to help show where that new point is. I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to line it up with the edge where I want to have that slope. And then I'm going to draw a couple of lines from that slope. Maybe make it as wide as this draw, this road over here. And you start to see this difference between these two. I'm going to use the second point right now as a way to end that slope and then continue it on. So here we're using the right vanishing point going down. I'll make it a little bit more. What I'm going to do at this point is not use the new point, but I'm going to use the left vanishing point because this is where all my flat roads are going. You'll see a little bit of a difference between the two here at the very bottom of your screen. Now I'm going to erase what I don't need. And you can start to see this slope. That's how thick that road is, right over there. So let me, let me draw a line where we'll see it a little bit more even. How about a slope in this section? Make it look kind of like a trench. It's a little risky. I'll try it. I'm going to go from that same third vanishing point. But I need to have a starting point, so I'm going to go to the right. Do a little bit of a light line. This is where my slope is going to start. And I'm going to go down from that third vanishing point. Maybe take it out a little bit over here. You'll see where I'm going with this in just a minute. Third vanishing point from the other start edge. And you can see how this continues over here. Maybe I'll do some lines so it kind of looks like ridges. I'll give this slope a little bit of thickness. So you can start to see it a little bit better. But here that road suddenly goes underneath here. Maybe I'll make it a ramp. See how I use that left vanishing point? Now it looks suddenly like it's going down. Here, I'll give this side a little bit of thickness to make it a little bit more believable. Now maybe the bottom of the slope, I'll connect it with the wall. Something like this just helps tell the story of that depth. Sometimes you have to add extra clues, like a, like a small ladder or sneak in some stairs, something where somebody knows a little bit more easily what you're trying to do. But there we go. I've got a little bit of that slope here. I've got this extra dimension. And now I've made this alleyway a little bit more narrow. I'm going to finish this off with just a little bit more with line. A little bit of continuation of what I did over here on the right. That way it just helps tell the story a little bit more. Here I've got this slope coming up over here, but wait a minute. That's this section, this dropped down highway now. Anyway, that's fun. Adding slopes. You can add a number of different third points on here, go sloping different directions. It does add things, uh, 
It adds some detail. It makes things a little bit more complicated, a little bit more involved, but also it's great for your mind and creativity. Thanks for watching.